Hi, my name is Mirella and I'm a self-care coach. I live and I work in Munich. And I welcome you to today's um, piece about mindfulness as a tool for female leaders. I'm very thankful and happy to be sharing with you my thoughts on this, um, on this theme that I think that it's very, very important for us, especially for women. Great businesses always come with great leaders. And the thing that they all have in common is a great sense of people awareness as well as a great sense of purpose. So what you're going to learn in the next few minutes is how to be a mindful leader, the power of living in here and now, and also you will get three tips on how to overcome difficult situations. Well, let's begin. My first question to you is, I'm sure you've heard of it often. What is mindfulness anyway? What is mindfulness? I'll give you a tip. It's in the word, fullness. So when you think about mindfulness, it actually means that you are living in fullness. In order to do your job as a leader and in order to be able to serve other people and your team, you cannot be you cannot serve from a place of lack, from a place of something is missing, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough time, energy, I don't have this or the other resources. The only thing that can help you serve is when yourself, when you are in fullness yourself. So it means take care of yourself. Make your person a priority, number one priority. Because, a wise person once said, could have been a woman, you cannot pour from an empty cup. When your cup is empty, you cannot give. So this is the first aspect that I want you to take with you from tonight. And that is, you cannot pour from an empty cup. Make sure that you take care of yourself. Now, the second aspect of mindfulness, and a very interesting aspect, is that we live in here and now, but most of the time our thoughts are so wrapped up in what happened yesterday, what happened a year ago, what happened a few years ago, and we start feeling regret or negative feelings. So we basically live a lot of time in the past, but the past is past. You cannot change it anymore. So there is no point in living in the past, and there is no point in living in the future. We are so often afraid of what might come, what might go wrong, that we forget to live in this moment right now. So this moment right now has the power to change everything that comes, to change your reality, to change your life, your future, your career. And this is the moment that you can choose. It has the power to change everything. And the third aspect from today that um, I think it's going to be someday very, very useful to you is that mindfulness is not only a philosophy, but also it gives you a lot of tips on how to overcome difficult situations. Like take, for example, the last time you had a difficult situation with a client or your boss was maybe in a bad mood that day or maybe an employee was quite angry. Anyway, difficult interactions where you think, hmm, what can I do about it? Well, mindfulness can help you. The first tip that you can use before such an interaction is breathe. It sounds simple, but breathing, taking deep breaths can help you refocus and will help your body understand the message that, oh, I'm not in this mode of fight or flight where I have to fight for my life, but I am in the safe mode. So taking deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling at least three or four times will help relax your body and you will come back to yourself. Refocus. The second tip to overcome difficult situations is when before having the meeting or before making that call is when you visualize the other person or persons in front of you 
and you visualize them apologizing to you. Apologizing for all the things that they might have said, they might have done, that might have hurt you. And you visualize yourself apologizing to them. What happens is, the moment that you apologize, you remember when somebody said sorry, you're like, yeah, it's okay. So the moment you apologize, what happens is, these entangled feelings and negative energy from past interactions, or maybe your fear of having a, a negative response from that person, this negative interaction will then dissolve. You will get the feeling not of complete relaxation, but the feeling of relief. You know, I'm on a neutral ground. And the second thing about this tip is that your subconscious mind does not know the difference between reality and imagination. So it means if I'm apologizing to somebody and I'm visualizing them apologizing back to me, it means that my subconscious got the picture. Oh, we're good, we're okay. So you can take this new feeling, this neutral feeling, and be able to start all over having a normal meeting or a normal call with the person that you're about to meet. The third tip, and probably the most important that you can take with you today, is practice great, uh, great, being grateful. Gratitude. Every day when you go to sleep, when you're just laying in your bed and eyes closed, think about all the people and the moments that you feel grateful for during that day. All the small successes and the big success successes that you've had. Um, answering those emails and getting that job done and the fact that you are healthy and the fact that your colleagues are healthy and the fact that you were able to actually work on that day. Count your blessings. This will help your brain be in a more positive mindset before you go to sleep and will remind you of how blessed we really are especially in these times that we are living. And also, add a little, a little more something to that fullness cup that I was talking about. So the three tips, breathe deeply, visualize how you apologize to, to the other person, and visualize how they apologize to you, and practice gratitude. So if there is something that you can take with you today, I would love you to take the three big aspects of mindfulness. You can never serve from an empty cup. Make sure that you don't lead from fear, from fear of the future, from a regret of something that happened, that you don't lead from a place of ego, that you lead from a place of heart. So you can add heartfulness to your mindfulness. And the third thing are the tips that I think that will help you someday. Um, and I hope that you don't have a lot of these situations, but it's important that you know them. Breathe deeply and um, make sure that you practice gratitude every day and that you visualize how you apologize to that person. I really hope you've enjoyed the time. Thank you, thank you very much. And I hope you have a great time at the festival. Have a great day.